So uh, we were talking about uh, the editions and then we talked about licenses. So editions and licenses are two different things. That is the first one that I want to you know uh, tell you that edition is different from license. Okay. Edition is meant for the uh, organization and license is meant for an individual. Okay. And then you have different types of licenses also. So it's not that uh, that uh, for a particular type of edition you will always have to take the same license. There are different types of licenses, right? For an example, there are a, a, you know there are a number of licenses which are there. But I will just give you a very simple example. You uh, remember I told you yesterday that Salesforce uh, comes up with a few uh, pre-installed apps or pre-built apps. Which, uh, which have been designed by Salesforce and then there is this force.com platform on which you can uh, develop your own app or you create your own app right now Salesforce gives you a choice in case you want to use this app then you have to pay a certain amount if you want to use this app then you have to pay a certain amount for example uh, we talked about an edition uh, which is called enterprise edition enterprise edition yesterday we were talking about so if you want to use the salesforce pre-built apps for enterprise edition you'll have to pay per user 125 dollar per month per user okay so this is what you'll have to pay for enterprise edition if you want to use the uh, salesforce standard apps however if you say that i have a few users and those users will not use any of the standard apps they will only use the apps that have been built on force.com okay let's say out of a team of 100 you say that 20 people will only use the custom apps that we have designed in house they will not use salesforce designed apps so logic says that the, the pricing should be different there and it should be lesser than the, uh, the, this pricing because we are not using, we are just using their platform and the server space. We are not using their application. So there the pricing will be different. So for that it is called uh, the force.com apps. They just won't need to access force.com app and for that they will need to pay $25 per user per month right so it's the same enterprise edition but the licenses are different so this is a full crm license and this is just a platform license which gives you to you uh, access to use the platform apps the ones that you have developed got it so this way i mean there are multiple licenses so once you decide on the edition and you decide on the license now the question can be that okay fine is this uh, platform license available on all the editions no this is not available in contact manager because there is no concept of customization this is not available in group edition and this is not also available in personal edition so personal group and contact you cannot do much but yeah professional enterprise and unlimited edition we have that option of taking or choosing different licenses for different users got the concept <clears throat> Now once you have decided to you know uh, go for a particular edition and go for a particular license then what is the next thing that you will have to do? I just want you to understand the process. So uh, once you have decided on this uh, you just have to you know uh, tell Salesforce let's say you are a company uh, and <clears throat> you have taken uh, you have decided to go for Salesforce right. You say that okay fine I have 100 users and I want enterprise edition and then you also decide on 400 users to, for all of them you need the full license or you need uh, the platform license for some of them you decide on that let's say you say that for 80 you need full license full license when I say I mean uh, the full CRM license including the standard uh, apps and for 20 of them you just need the platform license so what Salesforce will do it will create generate an invoice for you for these hundred users 
it is generally an agreement of one year that you sign with Salesforce. So they will charge you for one year. Though the pricing is mentioned uh, per month, but they will charge you for one year at a time. Okay. So they will build, you know, create an invoice for you for these hundred users for one year, and they will give you the invoice. Okay. The moment you make the payment, they will create one license for you. Okay, and make one license of one initial license uh, or one user they will create the way you created it yesterday. That is the first user, and by default, this is the system administrator. So let's say I mean uh, we uh, we are uh, a team and uh, we have approached Salesforce and they first of all they created a license for Santosh. So they will just create one license and give it to us. So it depends on us. We will tell them that okay, fine. Create it with this username, password, and email ID. They will create with that particular thing and give it to us. So let's say Santosh uh, is the one for whom the license got created first of all. So the first license or the first user by default is system administrator. Okay. Now the system administrator will have the access of going and creating more licenses and users and all. At a later point of time, it's not necessary that this person has to be system administrator throughout. Once he creates more users, he can make someone else as the system administrator, and from there the other person can take control. Fine. I just want you to under understand the process. So this is how it works. So yesterday we have done the same thing. The only difference is that. Uh, we have not paid money to Salesforce, and we ourselves created it. So, uh, <clears throat> okay. Did uh, I ask you to share your uh, developer edition uh, login ID password with me? I want one of you to share your developer edition login ID password with me. Uh, whatever uh, we do in the sessions, I will be doing in that particular person's uh, login ID and password. And uh, every day I will be using the same uh, account. Any one of you who does not have a very uh, confident about the security aspect in our last session, I think someone asked this question. So, do you see every time you uh, try to log in on a new computer? Now, uh, I was using Santosh credentials to log in into my computer. Every time you try to log in on a new computer, it uh, asks you for a security uh, verification code and all. Okay, so uh, Santosh, is this something that you created yesterday? Uh, this login or how is it? Was it uh, created a week back? I created uh, like a week ago, not yesterday. Not yesterday, you did not create a login ID password. I already created like a week ago. I was trying to do something on this. Very nice. But uh, did you notice? Uh, can you please put your microphone on mute? Yeah. So did you notice uh, that this is just a 21 day remaining trial thing and this is not even a developer edition? Which edition is this? Professional edition. So this is something which is not required. Got that? So please uh, create a developer edition. So yesterday, whatever I was discussing, go back to that uh, session's video, see the steps, and create a developer edition. We are not going to do anything on this trial version because it will expire in 21 days, and professional edition does not have a lot of features which will be required in our training. Fine. Okay. So anyone else who can share the login ID password quickly? Or else give me one minute. So, this is the edition that you created uh, in your last session. 
right this is what we have created now once we have done this thing the first user is created so whatever is your name your name appears here and you are the first user so when you purchase an actual license from salesforce that is uh, again uh, that is where uh, they create a first user for you and they give it to you the first user by default is made as the system administrator which means that user will have the uh, will have all the rights system administrator usually can do everything on salesforce whatever is possible system administrator can do it till uh, we do not go and restrict him right so by default system administrator can almost do everything now what happens is uh, the system administrator login is created now for creating more users you just have to go to setup manage users let's say you want to create multiple users and all you just need to go to manage users click on users and you have that option of uh, the list you have the list of other uh, users who are already there so as of now there is only one user this is a chatter expert which is uh, not a valid user actually so only one user you will get to see that is you yourself then you have the option of creating more users how many more users can you create that depends on how many licenses you have purchased for developer edition i told you yesterday you can create two right so you have the option of creating one more user with the full crm license got that clear okay so that is it so uh, from here you go and create the user okay now once you have created the user there are a few things that we will get into we will just talk about the basic setup 